Okay, now first things first, um, I'm not going to automatically say that the book of Genesis is right or that Christianity is right or that any religion is right. Again, as I said before, I'm an agnostic. But I would like to draw what evidence there might be for this case um, to make it warranting as a possible testable hypothesis and to create theories by which it can be proven or disproven. Um, evidence which works for this is the fact that, um, or works for the book of Genesis in general, is the fact that um, about a year ago, a snake skeleton was found with hip bones, more specifically uh, an ancestor to one species of common snake. And uh, more recent biological evidence, if you actually go look online, snakes, uh, ancestors with legs, you will find that there are quite a few species of snake whose ancestors did in fact walk and then uh, evolved over about 500 million years um, to be able to slither in between rocks and stuff like that for evolutionary advantages. Now if we put in that time dilation effect again in there and we take in some of the uh, uh, that could theoretically mean that um, the bit about God cursing the snake was possibly true. Just from God's standpoint, it was much shorter time than it was for us. Anyway, um, more in the next video.